Ever laid down in bed for the night only to not remember if you closed your garage door, turned off all your lights, or locked your door? Maybe tonight you forgot to close your curtains and you know if you don't get up to close them you'll be blinded by the sun super early, but your room is cold and you're already under your warm blankets. Instead of having to remember everything right before bed, you can set up an automation routine with the help of a voice assistant and different smart home devices to be able to check the status of things like doors, windows, and locks as well as take actions such as turning lights off, closing curtains, or even locking your door if you forgot to do so with just a single word or phrase of your choice. Hello and welcome to another video with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, I will be going over my bedtime routine and everything it accomplishes, along with going over how I set up the routine, and make sure to stay until the end, because I have several other ideas for things you can include in a routine like this that I don't personally use, but you could find useful. Let's first take a look at how I trigger this bedtime routine, and while I do use Google Home for my voice assistant, you can accomplish this with an Amazon voice assistant if you are in that ecosystem. So don't worry, and I will be covering how to set up this automation within the Amazon voice assistant as well. For me, I say it's time for bed to my nightstand Google Home which will trigger a few different things to happen. It's time for bed. The first action that occurs is that my Google speakers set its volume to 40% just in case it was raised earlier in the day to not be too startling. Next, the fan is turned on for 30 minutes. Then Google will turn off several lights that I know don't need to be on and have a chance of being left on. This also comes in handy if I'm heading to bed with my hands full and not able to turn off lights as I leave a room. The next few actions involve telling me tomorrow's weather, if there are any home reminders, and tell me my first calendar event for the next day. It'll be partly cloudy, with a high of 17 and a low of 10. First up tomorrow, you have Be Awesome at 8 p.m. This is handy as the seventh action is being asked what time to set an alarm for, which with the knowledge of how my morning is going to look, I can easily do. What time should I set the alarm for? 8 a.m. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. Set. Next up is three more actions that will let me know with a verbal confirmation if any doors or windows have been left open, and if any doors are unlocked. The backyard door, the basement door, and the garage door are closed. The office window is open. The custom is unlocked. Afterwards, if any doors were left unlocked, Google will then lock them for me. Then my Google Nest Hub will set itself to Do Not Disturb. Turning Do Not Disturb on. And for the 13th and final action, my Google Home will tell me to have a good night. Have a good night. To accomplish all of this, I have a Google Home routine set up that will trigger when I say it's time for bed to my Google Home. The routine then triggers each action individually. I could have more than one trigger phrase if I wanted to, and I could even just make the routine trigger at a specific time or at sunset. About half of the actions for my routine are built into Google Home. But one thing I like about using Google Home is that I can actually set up a routine action as if I was saying something to my Google. For example, to get my Google to tell me if any doors are open, I would say, are any doors open? So for the routine, I can create a custom action mirroring what I would say normally and get the response still. I do this for the doors, windows, locks, and even use it to put the Google Home into do not disturb mode. Just keep in mind that this will trigger as if you're saying it to that Google. So for the action of turn on the fan for 30 minutes, it'll work because I have a fan assigned to the same room as the Google Home that I'm speaking to. To create your own Google routine, first go into the Google Home app and then click on Routines. Next, click on the plus sign on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Next, click on Add Starter to pick your trigger. You can select Voice Command to pick words or phrases like in mine, or a time, the dismissal of an alarm, the sunrise, or the sunset. Keep in mind that for any routine, you are able to have multiple voice triggers and only one non-voice trigger. If you add a voice command and want to have more than one, simply click on add another under your first one to add an additional voice command trigger. When you have your voice command set up, you can click on add starter at the bottom of the screen. If you want to add a non-voice starter, you can do so here by clicking on the add starter at the top. To add actions to your routine, click on add action. Here you will find several different action categories, such as get information, adjust assistant volume, and adjust home devices. Most of these have individual options under them, so I recommend taking a look through all of the different categories to see what options you have. For example, under Get Info and Reminders, there are 13 individual actions you can pick from, such as providing the weather or telling you any reminders you have set. You can pick multiple actions under a category as well, so you don't have to worry about picking only one. Towards the bottom of the action categories, you'll find one called Try Adding Your Own, which is where you can set custom routine actions. Here you would put whatever you would say to your Google directly. At the very bottom of the Actions options, you'll find Delay Start. This lets you put a time delay between actions being taken. I'm not really sure how useful this is, but if you're using this in your own routines or think of a way to use Delay Start, let me know in the comments below. 
you notice at the bottom of the routine creation page a small area titled device for audio next to the save button. You can actually click it. You'll be able to select which device provides audio when the routine is triggered by a non-voice command. If the routine is triggered by a voice command, then the audio will be provided through the speakers of the Google Home that receive the voice command. Once you're all done configuring your routine, you can go ahead and click on save on the bottom right hand side of the screen. I recommend testing out your newly created routine before relying on it. And if it's going to change anything, such as lights, it might be wise to do so during the day if you live with others so you don't accidentally wake anyone up. Before going into some other ideas for actions to be added to the bedtime routine, I'd like to first go over how to set up a similar routine for Amazon Assistant users. Within the Amazon Assistant app, click on More on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And then click on Routines. Next click on the plus sign on the top right hand side of the screen. Here you can assign a routine name, routine triggers, and actions. For triggers, you have several options such as voice commands, alarms, smart home devices, and others. For Amazon Echo routines, you can only pick one trigger. For this example, I'm just going to select voice with the phrase of, it's time for bed. You can have up to seven total voice triggers for an Amazon Assistant routine. I'm not going to go over creating each action, but just like in Google Home, you can select many different types of actions, and for the ones that aren't under a specific category, you can use the custom action to have any command issued as if you had set it to your Amazon Voice Assistant. At the bottom of the routine creation page, you select the device that the routine actions are run on, such as a specific Echo device or just the device you speak to. For this routine example, I'm going to pick the device I speak to. Once the routine is all done, you can click on save on the right hand side of the screen. With having a smart home hub, I could actually just have Google toggle a virtual switch on my Samsung SmartThings hub that then triggers a WebCore piston that then goes through and takes all of the my desired actions controlled by SmartThings. You could also accomplish something similar with Hubitat or Home Assistant. But for this, and because I like having the audio response to occur on the Google I'm interacting with, it's much easier to just have the routine on Google Home. If you set up your routine to turn Do Not Disturb on, then you want to make sure that you turn it off the next day, otherwise you may miss notifications such as someone at your door. An easy way around this is to have a morning routine set up that does a bunch of things but also includes turning Do Not Disturb off, which is exactly what I do. Good morning. For me, my good morning routine tells me my first calendar appointment, reminds me of any reminders I have, tells me the weather for the day, Currently it's 9 degrees and mostly cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is around 7 and cloudy. Tells me my commute to work. Your commute to work is currently light traffic if you take and turns off Do Not Disturb on my Google Home. Turning Do Not Disturb off. Have a good one. A quick tech tip for you. Instead of having to mess around with Do Not Disturb as part of your night and morning Google routines, you can actually set up night mode. You can find the settings for night mode under an individual Google Home device within the Google Home app under Notifications and Digital Wellbeing. With night mode enabled, you can pick a schedule for when Do Not Disturb is automatically turned on and off and set the maximum volume for your Google Home device. Just remember that you have to set up night mode on every device you want it to run on. As promised, here are several other actions you can consider within your good night routine. I'd also love to know any others you come up with, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. The first is playing white noise, podcasts, or audiobooks to fall asleep to. These are all individual options for routine actions right under Play and Control Media. You can even pick a specific podcast or choose from several different sleep sounds Google supports. You can actually have the routine action set to play a specific song, artist, genre, and you can even have a playlist used. I'd recommend creating a playlist specifically for the routine, and then you can add or remove whatever music you want easily without having to update the routine. Another action you might want to consider is adjusting your thermostat. If you have a smart thermostat integrated into Google Home, you can change the temperature automatically as part of a Google routine. A fourth action is changing scenes. This is another already built out option for routine actions that can be found under Adjust Home Devices. The next action I'd like to mention is arming a security system. If you have a security system integrated to Google Home, such as the now discontinued Nest Secure system, then making sure your security system is armed when going to bed is a no-brainer. Another routine action idea is to turn on a room humidifier for either the whole night or a specific time period. This can be accomplished with either a smart humidifier that is integrated directly into Google Home or another smart home hub, or one that is just plugged into a smart plug that gets turned on and off. If you want to set it for a timer, all you have to do is use a custom command that is to turn the humidifier on for however long you'd like. In the same light as a room humidifier, it may also have a room AC unit that could be plugged into a smart plug or turned down by a smart button pusher, which could be on the whole night or until you turn it off with a timer, just like a humidifier. My eighth and final suggestion for other possible bedtime routine actions is parking a robot lawnmower if you happen to have one. You may want it to only be running when you're awake to help prevent theft of it. 
so making sure your bedtime routine automatically parks it for when you are going to bed can be pretty helpful as well. If you found this video helpful and haven't done so already, make sure to give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you show it to other people. And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first to know when I release other smart home and tech videos just like this one. Thank you for watching.